does this all work? Think about that. Everybody, how, how did your hearts feel? Open? Yes? That meditation? You felt moved? Who felt moved? I want to hear you. Yes? Yes? I felt moved. I felt moved. I'm trusting in this power. The power of worship. The power of it. The words that we heard here, that what, all the things that it does for us, it does all the things that we want done all the time, right? I want that connection. I want that vertical connection. We want to be those channels. We want to be in that place of peace, and we're saying that worship gives us that. You know, spirituality is full of these paradoxes, right? All the time, a paradox. And we, you, you, we are on our own with spirituality. Literally, you're on your own. But yet you can't do it alone. <laughs> Wonderful, right? And that idea of worship is another one of that paradox, right? I, I give all away so that what? I gain everything. Another one of those paradoxes. <laughs> I, I get on my knees so that what? I get uplifted and carried and I'm able to have and get through anything and everything. The paradoxes. The spiritual world is not, is not a slave to the material world. And when we are on a spiritual quest, we need to renounce one to gain the other. But in that renunciation, all is given unto us. A paradox, again, the paradoxes continue over and over and over again. Because it is so hard for us to truly let go. You know, we come in, we come to service, and you know, sometimes it's entertaining. I think we put on a good show sometimes, right? A really good show going on. We get you going. We get some Beatles in there. We get we get some of the we get we get some of all the, the fun stuff, you know, colors of the wind, Pocahontas. We get all we get all the good stuff in there. We get we get all the fun stuff in there, and we, we talk about all the stuff that's going on. And, but if we don't let go, if we don't allow ourselves to go beyond that, to allow that to be the vehicles to take us to someplace even greater, that place of that relinquishment of self, that place where we meet the divine. When we are in that presence, and that presence is in us, and there is no separation. It's no, no more time to talk about the fact that there is no separation. It is time to be in the place of no separation. This is what true worship is. This is why when we hear it, and we allow ourselves to surrender that much, that we allow ourselves, that's why you see everyone kind of, their arms are starting to move. Why? Because even your body has to expand. Your body has to expand, right? And use, yes, use your mouth. Yes, amen, amen, hallelujah. Like, get me out of myself. And if you find that you're sitting in a worship service and you can't get out of your head, well, then you just got to shake your head a little bit. <laughs> yes, you got to shake it up. It's trapping you. It's imprisoning you. It's too much. There's too much going on in your head. Shake it up. And if you can't shake it up, move your I need to get all this going by me out of my mouth. Right? Move your mouth, wiggle that tongue around. Oh, this one did this, and this one did that. Get it out of your mouth. Because when your head is hot and full, you can't feel your heart. There is no connection to your soul. You're not grounded in anything. So you need to empty here. As we empty, we can get filled. As we empty, we are fulfilled. As we empty, we are fulfilled. 
Rumi says, be melting snow. Wash yourself of yourself. Right? Yes. Yes. And the Talmud says that every blade of grass has an angel that bends, that bends and whispers, grow, grow, grow. Every blade of grass has an angel that whispers. Have you not that and more? For each finger, for each piece of hair, for each sparkle in your eye, this we give all glory to. Life, alive, living in each one of you, that grace. And how do we know that? How do we know that? Because we have been told over and over again. We have been shown by those who have come before us that tells us that there is a faithful father, that there is a faithful energy, that the sun came up this morning, hallelujah, and that the earth is not flying through space crazily. Amen. It is there in, in a constant and consistent consistent pattern in assuredness that we can count on turning turning consistently holding with gravity consistently being here for us that faithfulness that love so please join